Hello guys, today I'm here to talk a little bit about colored hair, do's and don'ts, is it worth it, is it not, what will probably happen to your hair. Let's go! that everyone asks me the most instead of uh, how was your day or how are you is how, how do you do your hair or well, which salon do you go? All questions like this. Hair is a really big topic for me and it gets me so happy with all the comments I receive about my hair. Everyone really supporting me and really appreciating the work I do. So thank you so much for all the love you guys always share with me. There is not a single day I go out that people don't ask me which salon do you go, who does your hair, which hairstylist do you go to and people get really in shock when I say that I'm the one that I do my own hair and yeah, I do my own hair my first experience here in UAE was very frustrating it was one month prior to my marriage ceremony and I went to a salon which was recommended it was not supposed to be a bad salon but the lady there, I asked it for an ombre hair and she applied bleach all over my hair even on my scalp and roots, I had a really bad allergic reaction. She left the entire thing on my hair for around 40 minutes. It burnt my scalp, my hair was falling on my hands, it was breaking. My scalp was burnt, I had blisters all over my scalp. I really felt that for the first time in my life, I could go bald one month before my marriage. So it was crazy and I always color my hair. I used to color my hair since I was 13 if I'm not wrong. And I used to do lots of things at home and I never used to have any type of problem. I of course take care of the type of products I buy. I try to buy the best things that are there on the market. I'm always researching about it, doing tests, seeing what's good, what's not, what works for my hair, what does not work. Hair is just like skin. Everyone has a hair type. So probably what I do for my hair is not going to be good for your hair. So you always need to test and discover what's good for yourself. It was really frustrating because I used to do so many crazy things on my hair since I'm a teenager for like 7-8 years now and I never had this type of problems like I went through going to a saloon. So I'm kind of traumatized. I don't know if being traumatized is a very strong word to use. But yeah, I am afraid of going to the saloon and not being able to get the type of service I think I deserve. So since that happened, I have been doing everything on my own. I bleach my hair, I dye my hair, I experience with my hair, all the hair masks, moisturizing, reconstructing, keratin processes, everything I do on my own. I buy the products and I do it. It has been working till now. Everyone comes to me and the first most asked question is, does it damage your hair? Yes, bleaching your hair does make your hair very weak and thin. So that's why you need to take care of it at home. I have all the products I need, I take care of it, so every time someone asks me that I go like oh come closer, touch my hair, you can touch my hair, there's no problem, um, feel it and then everyone's like oh my god yeah it's so healthy, It's not. there are no split ends, everything's fine, yeah because I take care of it. I am never afraid of experimenting in life, not only with hair but with food, clothes, places, restaurants, um, anything. I'm always there to experiment. I'm the yes, let's do it girl. The only thing I I always take care of, doesn't matter in what we are talking about, is to be safe and be healthy. So if it's not going to be harmful for me or for my hair, or for my health or psychologically or anything, I am up for it. So if it's not damaging my hair, I will do it. I will try it. I had short hair, long hair, medium hair, hair of all types of colors and styles. So I only worried if it will be healthy for my hair or not, if my hair is being able to take it or not. I have some secrets at home. One of them is the conditioner I use. I try to use all types of different conditioners. Um, through the years, none was as good as Kerastase Mask Intense. I wrote a review about it and it's on newoldgirl.com, you can just go there and check it out. 
it makes a really huge difference for my hair but apart from that I have all types of homemade masks I do to moisturize, reconstruct and maintain the health of my hair yes, it is something that damages the hair but it will all depend on how you take care of it so if I have a big advice to give for anyone who wants to try uh, new hair, new hairstyle, dyeing with colors um, I will of course tell you to do it because I believe that it is a big part of my personality, it tells who I am, I feel like it can be so many people at the same time and expressing it with my hair is one of the biggest ways I do it, so I believe when people look at me they have the sensation that I am happy and I am happy and this is me and this is my personality and this is who I am, so I think it's very creative. And I am a very creative person, I think. So it's really important for me to express myself in all ways possible. So that's why I'm a person that I like tattoos and I like piercings. And I like wearing tennis and then I like wearing heels and then I like changing with my hair. And some days you're going to see me so cute and some other days you're going to see me like grungy and alternative dark style. Because every day I wake up not a completely different person. but feeling like expressing myself in a different way. So that's it. I also use my hair as a way of expressing myself. I would totally say go for it, but there are a few things you need to know. Your hair will get thin, will get very weak. You need to take care of a few things. I will also record the next video about 10 things you must do and can't do at all if you have colored bleach hair. So wait for it, it will come. But for now, I have one thing before you start bleaching and coloring your hair that you need to think of. There are two types of people when it comes to taking care of a bleached hair. People that will not measure efforts, money, and how many times you need to go to salon per month to take care of your hair. Because it is expensive, you need to go through several processes per month to maintain the health of your hair. So I believe that it will cost around five to six hundred dirhams per month, which is something around um, 120, 150 dollars per month, because you need. If you skip a month and you don't have the money to invest on it, because you don't have the time to take care of it at home, your hair will feel it and you start seeing your hair breaking and having split ends and all those things that are terrifying. So if you're not the person that uh, wants to spend lots of money, that it's just like me, I hate spending too much money on things I consider photo, my opinion, I consider spending this much money on salons very photo, I think 500-600 dirhams is so much money and you can spend it in so many other important stuff or invest in something else. So I do everything at home. I bleach my hair at home, I dye my hair at home, I maintain it at home, I moisturize it at home, I do keratin reconstruction process at home, and I do everything on my own without anyone's help. It took me a couple of years to learn some things, I still don't know everything, but I'm always trying and I'm always making the effort. I save around 50 to 40% money of what I would spend on the saloon. So I spend around 250 um, dirhams um, per month with the products I need to buy to maintain my hair at home. So it is still expensive but I'm saving some money on that. And I also need time for that. So I spend once a week around 3 to 4 hours on my hair. So on Saturdays which are my day off, I go and I dye my hair again if I need, or I need a color correction, or I do reconstructing, moisturizing, masks and everything. So the masks and the reconstruction processes, it take uh, 40 to 45 minutes of products on my hair, and then to re-dye my hair, do any type of color correction, it will take around one hour, one hour and a half. Though the hair dye says that it just needs to be on my hair for half an hour, I always leave it longer so it penetrates on my hair more so the color will take a little bit longer to fade so yeah i take lots of time so if you don't have time you will need the money to go to the saloon and if you don't want to go to the saloon you will have to do everything at home because it is a hair very fragile and you need to maintain it properly one more thing i can tell you guys is i have been using crazy color by rainbow 
Um, I showed you that before but it was on a Portuguese video so I'm really sorry for that. So I'm here to show you guys again. It's Crazy Colors by Rainbow. I have been using it for around 3 months now. It's a very cheap color so it fades quite fast. Um, I'll make a video reviewing about it properly and I can also say that for now on as soon as I finish these colors that I have with me right now I will be moving to another hair dye brand of these fashion colors because uh, as you guys know if you follow me on Instagram and everything I'm an animal lover and I'm trying to change my lifestyle the best I can um, to protect the animals be with what I eat or what I wear, what I use, the cosmetics and etc. It's a choice, I'm making it with my husband. We are changing our lifestyle. So also my hair dye will be changing for a vegan um, hair dye as well as I'm trying to change all the cosmetics I wear. So with that being said, I will review Crazy Color later but I'm always also changing the hair dye for now. These hair dyes, they're all semi-permanent so they're not going to stay on your hair for long. As soon as you start washing your hair, especially if you're not using proper shampoo and conditioner for colored hair, the color will fade even faster. Maybe on the first wash, you will see that the color reduced like by half. And when the color starts fading, it gets really weird. So that's why you need to maintain it. It's not something that easy. Everyone look at me and they're like, oh my God, how are you able to maintain such nice color and stuff? because I have all this work at home. It is important for me. My hair is one of my priorities. It's one of the things I like the most. So I do spend all this time per week on my hair because it's something I am really proud of and it's something I really like. So that's why every time you guys comment beautiful stuff about my hair, something new that I tried, it makes my day because I feel that I'm doing something that people appreciate and there is nothing better than that. One more thing apart from the money and time you need to maintain your hair dye before you think about it, before you actually start doing it I have one more thing to say uh, If you already have thin hair and you bleach your hair, it will get even thinner It will lose volume It's not that your hair is going to start falling more It's because your hair will get thinner because it will lose mass because the bleaching process removes all the melanin and everything that has inside your hair as long as the nutrients and beta vitamins, proteins, etc. So your hair gets even thinner. So if you already don't have volume on your hair, it will reduce even more. I noticed it very bad because I had so much volume on my hair. People even used to call me lion because I had a mane and all these things. So I could do so many different hairstyles because I had lots of volume. Now my hair is so thin and I feel like I, can, I can't do one braid on my hair that everything will be gone. So if you care about hair volume and etc, um, please take care. It's not that your hair is falling, hair falls naturally all the time. So you just need to see if it's falling more than before or if it's the same thing. Because um, on my case, my hair is not falling any different from what it used to fall my entire life. I just reduced a lot of the volume because my hair is now way thinner because of the bleaching process. One more thing, why I always have hair this size and not longer than that? Some girls complain to me that they have such long hair and after they bleached their hair, they had to cut it. If you are a normal person like me and you don't go to the salon very often and you don't invest thousands of uh, money <laughs> on your hair, um, you won't be able to maintain it so well because of course the best products on the market they are super expensive so for me till now I was not able to maintain my hair uh, bleached longer than this why? from it to grow from my roots till these edges here my hair must be five to six years old so it's an older hair it's weaker of course it's not as strong as my roots so the longer you have your hair, the older your edges are. So if you have your hair like growing to your waist or something like this, that means that your hair is probably 10 years old. A 10 year old hair to endure all the chemical process of bleaching and dying weekly, it won't take it, it's an old hair. The lack of vitamins and proteins on it and keratin, it's very harsh on the hair. So your hair will get split ends, it will get frizzy, it will break, it will look horrible. And then so many girls come to me and they're like, oh, I had to cut my hair so short after I bleached my hair. 
of course it's not easy to maintain such a long hair and bleached it's very hard it's a very hard chemical process the hair is already so old and you're removing everything from inside the structure of your hair so my advice for you if you're not ready to have always short hair also don't bleach and color your hair um, be very careful with that because it will damage your hair I always leave my hair shorter than this but never longer because every time it grows a little bit more than this I feel that I'm having split ends, it's breaking too much, it's getting um, kind of bad and the split ends are kind of a domino process if you don't cut it as soon as they're happening they keep breaking till they reach like half of your hair and then your hair gets frizzy and everyone can notice how um, the breakage is going all over your hair so it's not only the bleach fault it's because your hair is very old and it won't be able to take the chemical process so I advise you if you want healthy, bouncy, um, volume hair um, don't maintain it too long if you're going to keep doing color and the bleaching process because your hair won't take it and then you get very frustrated because your hair is always looking very bad. So I just want you guys to consider these things before um, dyeing your hair. I will be more than happy to see the entire world very colored as I have been seeing lots of girls here in UAE already dyeing their hairs and fashion bloggers and etc. I feel that it's so nice to inspire other people and I feel very proud of that. Uh, it means that I'm doing my job properly but please just consider these things so you don't get frustrated. If these changes are too harsh on you and you're really scared, buy a hair extension. You can find them for $100 um, all over the internet. There are stores um, from other countries that deliver worldwide. So instead of doing any changes in your hair, what you can do is um, just putting the hair extensions and leaving your natural hair, be it brown, dark or blonde, and you can just have nice colored extensions under your hair. It will also give you some color and it will look very nice. So guys, I decided to record this video because um, it was a very requested one and these are questions I receive all the time. I am so happy that I am a uh, hair inspiration for so many people and people come to me to ask questions and try to solve some of their doubts. So I just decided to record this video for you guys to think a little bit before you decide to do that. It's not an easy decision because as soon as you start doing that it's a forever decision because your hair will be chemically treated and you have to take care of this hair like this forever because it doesn't matter if you put black color again in your hair and make it darker your hair will be chemically treated so you have to always take care it will always be a fragile hair so I hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like it's so important for me and if you guys have any questions, please leave under here. I'll be more than happy to answer to all of them and try to help you guys a little bit. And remember, I am not a hairstylist. I'm not a hair professional. I have no course. So I am just telling you guys what I do with my experience. So maybe what I do for myself will not work for you because everyone has different hair, just like everyone has different type of skins. So maybe what I do for me will not be the same thing that will work for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching till here and see you again.